Good morning, welcome back to Full Circle. So obviously it's a very cold morning. I wanna know where are you watching me from? How's the weather there? Well, right now we're gonna be talking about travel. Is it safe to travel during COVID-19? Have you traveled during COVID-19 or are you planning to travel during this time? So we're just gonna be giving you a few tips that you need to know to stay safe when you're traveling during COVID-19. Plus also joining me right now, I have Sylvia Mundia. Sylvia is a travel concierge. So Sylvia, I think Malitunanza and what is a travel concierge? A travel concierge, in very simple terms, is a personal travel planner. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you as Tamima, you want to go somewhere. But then I want to go somewhere. Where Let me just you want tell to go? you. This interview was very personal. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you want to go somewhere. You tell me, you call me, you're like, hi, Sylvia, this is where right. I want to go. So what do you want? What are your needs as a personal, as a person, sorry? And uh, what are you looking to do? So you tell me and then I help you plan that on an individual basis. So I feel your heart. What exactly do you want to achieve at the end of this um, so trip? I'm thinking, and it's a very valid question, mm -hmm. how different is what you do from what the travel agencies do? So travel agencies usually, they it's for me, I feel as though it's not very personal. It's book with this and this travel company and we are a group of people mostly. So usually I know even um, some companies would take a group of people who don't know each other. So this is different in that I listen to your needs. As a, then I'm on call 24 hours. You can call me anytime. And at the end of it all, there's something you want to look at. Do you want to go just relax? Do you want to go unwind? Are you looking to listen in to your heart? You know, just do some bit of self-reflection here and there. So that's the difference. So it's very in touch with you as a person and part of the job or yeah, service yeah. do you get to travel with some of your clients in, to some places yeah i do so if, if you tell me so for for instance i am a steward of a ministry um a women's ministry so i get to travel with them while they're doing their thing but in some cases i don't because the client wants to just do it on their own okay yeah. and how is business now especially um it had slowed down a bit earlier because when covid measures were stricter and people are feeling a bit afraid to get outside but now because more people are warming up to the idea of traveling um and wanting to go to new places and that just is discovering because people i think have realized that life is too short and they can't stay in their houses so now it's becoming better for sure life yeah. is too short we cannot stay in the houses yes. and uh, we are, november is just starting december is just around yeah. the corner i'm curious which holiday destination would you like to visit let me know via the sms line triple one triple four triple one ni wapi ambapo we unataka kwenda holiday yeah just to wind down your ear and celebrate yourself and celebrate even with your family for the holidays so if you're planning to travel especially during this year i'm sure it's a very valid concern and you must have picked it up from most of your clients mm -hmm. uh, and most of this really is coming from covid19 what are some of the changes that now any traveler has to make do with mm -hmm. when they are traveling um so first of all they need to depends where you're traveling to so you need to do your research um, on the COVID restrictions in that particular destination. And then, of course, now the usual, okay, they're not usual, but they're like um, getting travel insurance where you're going. Also, just uh, make sure you do a COVID test because now that's a requirement in so many countries. So now we are talking about international travel. Yes, international travel. So if travel. you're planning to leave Kenya, mm. number one, research yes do your research is that country allowing people from kenya specifically to exactly, come in exactly because the rules have changed yes. then number two right now if you're traveling internationally you must have a covid test exactly and that now comes with some validity period i think it's yes. like 48, 48 hours, hours some yeah. 72 some even seven right. days. so you need to know your research exactly so this means research. when i'm leaving kenya yes. i have to have my let me just call it a covid test certificate yes <laughs> because i feel like most yeah. people know certificates yeah. so i have to have my covid test certificate it exactly. which says I'm negative yes that's the only thing that will allow me to get on to a get, plane exactly and also when I'm traveling back, back vice versa yes so yes. if I'm going to let's say Greece oh guys Greece <laughs> I also have to know where in Greece I can get a test because yes. before I'm allowed yes. to come back and return I have to also get another yes COVID yes, test. Yes. Okay. And Sounds negative. very cumbersome, but it we is. must travel. It is, but we must do whatever you can do. Yes. Yes. Also, um, people really overlook this, but um, get copies of your passport, get copies of your itinerary, get copies of your visa. So just in case anything happens, either you lose your suitcase or you lose the documents themselves, you can have a copy of that. Maybe even leave a copy with a family friend or your friend or your husband or whatever, your boyfriend, just so that you can have a copy safe somewhere so that in case they need any documentation from you, then they can get it. 
and then of course um the others are just so what trip are you going for do you have an itinerary planned for yourself do you do you know what you're going to do do you know what uh, where places you want to go visit because people assume that ah nenda mombasa so i know nenda kwa beach but also what beach are you going to and what do you want to do at the beach on that <laughs> yeah. there are two types of travelers yes. there's a traveler who once you just book the hotel that's yes. it you're done yes. for you it's my room you know yes. uh, the dining area <laughs> and probably the swimming pool or the beach that's yes. it but then there's the other sort of traveler who literally they are never at the hotel they rise and shine yes. you know they are out doing tours they are out uh, you know going for adventures mm -hmm. and so many activities yes. so figure out who you are because it's okay to yeah, be either or yeah it's all right yeah yes so yeah i think those would be my tips also what is your budget because people also overlook that and assume also i've saved a certain amount of money and this money should be enough for this and this and this but then there are certain small small hidden costs in your trip that you overlook and you want to account for every coin that you have okay so yeah. let me just take some questions here obviously right now without a doubt have a mask i think that's like a basic yes. when you're traveling right yes. now and have several masks because yes. it's very easy to leave a mask you know at a lobby area mm -hmm. forget it somewhere mm -hmm. so it helps to just have several masks yes. for your own health and safety yes. and have it and wear it don't just have it have it and wear it and um, if you're wearing a cloth mask make sure you change it regularly or have it washed regularly also keep sanitizing your hands and maintain physical distancing while at it and then the other one because earlier on we were talking about making sure that you get tested for covid yes. so what happens if perhaps i've already booked my flight mm -hmm. i've made my reservations at the hotel and then unfortunately uh, my test results come back and i'm positive so what is the industry standard right now because i know for instance certain airlines have it as part of their you know terms and conditions that if you inform them in advance uh you'll you, you not necessarily get a refund but they will suspend the booking yeah. and mm -hmm. you can utilize it at a later date yes yes um i know of a case where someone someone's the, the person is not positive but just because of the measures in in place um someone's flight was cancelled not cancelled really but like put on hold until a later date so you're right so also again do your research what what does this airline say what are the terms and conditions for that particular situation and i think also if you're positive if you find yourself um being covid-19 positive take the personal responsibility um 14 days in ingisana quarantine and also uh, maybe now pray and then you get healed and then now travel after you you heal so that you don't also infect the people around you because you being on that plane really puts the lives of other people in danger so just take personal responsibility in protecting other people and not only thinking about yourself okay yes. and maybe for anyone who's traveling with a flight uh, are we now allowed to go on with sanitizers you know because previously some of these things when you're going through the when you're checking in huh? you know those people who are like yeah. can i see what's in your bag yeah. half your stuff gets get taken out yeah. but i believe that right now there are few there's a bit more flexibility yes. with sanitizers yes because people need to sanitize on, on air also some airlines would offer towels to to wipe your hands i recently talked to a friend who traveled and she told me her airline provided towels and you know just to make sure everyone is safe on on the flight and you you also um if you're going if you're going on an international trip carry a Masai Shuka because now they're not giving the 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 or oh, the in flight blanket yes they're yeah. not giving that because of course they need to protect people on the flight yes so what else are they not giving are they giving meals some i think some are some are not short the shorter flights yeah, the are shorter not the shorter flights are not the longer flights obviously they have to because you don't want to die on on a, on a flight but yes and what about when you're traveling with kids what do you have to consider ah physical distancing would be the thing to consider for example if you're up to quest jar of course now they're doing full capacity but so uh, full capacity means that we're not skipping seats yes me yes. anyway in there they, yes. we are packed yes <laughs> so i think now with what's happening even here in Kenya the ball has been thrown to us you know mm -hmm. take personal responsibility make sure your kids are wearing um face masks all through unless when they're eating of course um yeah so now it's more what are you doing to protect yourself now because um things are happening with full capacity on on flights and on SGR people need to really take care of themselves first and think about themselves first Okay. Yes. And maybe uh just to also promote Kenya as a destination. I've seen that in the last couple of months 
I really have to applaud the hospitality industry because yeah. they've been very hospitable to us Kenyans. Yes. That now you're seeing people are actually recognizing that there is more to Kenya than just Mombasa. Yes. So what are some of those destinations that you could perhaps, you know, encourage people to visit, uh, not necessarily your usual, but interesting enough places? Um, Meru, mm -hmm. weirdly, not weirdly, but like it wasn't a place, it wasn't your first in the first place you yeah you'd never of, very few people would Mary. think that uh let me go to Meru unless maybe e you come from there exactly yeah so Meru would be one place and there's this place now that people are calling it the Bali of Kenya so then it, I, I forget the name sorry but there's a place where it literally looks like Bali in Meru I think I've seen that in yes. a Facebook group called Wanderlust yes yeah the place with uh, the pool yeah, and the there pool are trees, and around so trees around it yeah and then also still Ngarendare Forest in, in Meru would be a place where to go for like a day trip. You want to go and do diving over there on the falls in the forest. I think this is where I should ask our viewers, represent your county. Is yes, there a beautiful exactly. spot in your county that you believe needs to be highlighted? Let me know, triple one, triple four, triple one. Where is, in your opinion, one of the most magical places in Kenya? Which county is it from and why should people visit? Mm -hmm. So you've said Meru, which Meru. other place? Um, also like Kipia, like, like Kipia. Kipia, Nanyuki, um, those areas. I've seen, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I've seen a couple of people now doing the desert experience in Kenya. Yes. In fact, the thing was you don't have to go to Dubai yes. to experience the, the desert. Yes. We have one right here in Kenya. Yes, yes. And then there's also a lot of people now are going to northern Kenya, mm -hmm. Marsabit, Wajir those places so I think it depends on you know like how wild are you why do you want to go you know and also if you're because so, some people would say I'm, I'm a very chilled person I wouldn't want to just push yourself out of the comfort zone because you never know you just never know what part of you like I think in the earlier session we're talking about making bold moves so just push yourself out of your comfort zone even when it comes to travel and be very intentional about discovering places because Again, life is too short. <laughs> Enjoy okay. yourself. So let's give people some quick tips here. Yes. Uh, usually when you're doing bookings and you're seeing all these offers from a lot of these travel agencies, you usually see this phrase, per person sharing. Mm. And a lot of the times it confuses people. So yes. maybe if you could just break it down and okay. explain what that means. If a hotel says the rate is maybe 10K per person sharing, mm. what does that mean? It means um, two people in one room okay. paying the same price. So what happens if I'm a solo traveler and I want to stay in my own room. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this it's a very rookie question, but I see it a lot where someone asks, so if it's 10, 10K per person sharing, does it mean that you're going to room me with a stranger? No, no. Well, unfortunately, though, some companies do that. Right. They, they room you with a stranger. So you have to ask. You have to ask. Yeah. Ask the company. But usually they'd allow you to stay alone if really you don't know the person. But some companies can be a bit um, can, canning when it comes to that. So and that's where you have to read the fine print exactly. because also when it's 10K per person sharing and you opt to stay alone, usually the charges sort of like go higher. Yes. You have to pay extra. Yes, yes, you have to pay extra. So you just need to find out. People, don't be lazy. <laughs> find out. Call the company. Make sure every fine detail has been explained to you so that before you travel to avoid disappointment because sometimes someone would go and maybe be roomed with a stranger and then come back give a bad review but you also never ask. So just find out. Okay. Yes. And the other one now in preparation for December, for instance, is it cheaper if you book now? Most definitely. Although now it's uh, the peak season has started. So some companies are offering, um, or they have offers for different destinations. So they have offers up until maybe 15th December. So if you want to travel after 15th December, for instance, I know a company called Divine Adventures. They have some offers bet and up until 15th December. Then after that, uh, prices have changed again until January. So just take advantage of every offer you see, but also make, do your research. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I'm sure we've learned so much about how to travel during these times. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions, get at us via the SMS line on your screen. But right now, it's time for a very quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 